Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today we're going to talk about the sexy and mystique Pinot Noir grape. Pinot Noir is a red grape variety that has a serious following. Some people say when you fall in love with wine, you end up loving Pinot Noir, but to be honest, for some it seems more like an obsession rather than an innocent love affair. So what is so unique about Pinot Noir grape? First of all, with few exceptions, Pinot Noir will never be deep in color. Grape skins are responsible for the color in wine and Pinot Noir tends to have thin skins and therefore it will usually be light in color. This is also a nice thing to remember if you are someone like me whose teeth and mouth gets colored walking dead style when drinking red wine. Pinot Noir will rarely have that power, so this is my go-to wine when I'm dining outside in a restaurant. As grape skins are responsible for the majority of tannins in wine, it will not make the most tannic wines as well. Pinot Noir will usually have more playful tannins rather than sticky or bitter. So if you do not like tannic wines, Pinot Noir might be just right for you. But wait, because of its lower tannins, acidity is out there exposed and you might notice or feel it more prominently than in other wines. And it doesn't help that Pinot Noir also tends to have elevated acidity in general. But wine lovers don't get obsessed over Pinot Noir because of its lower levels of tannins or elevated acidity. It's because of its flavors. And in the right hands, great winemaker can literally do miracles with it. Generally speaking, it will show range of red berries, such as strawberries, raspberries and sour cherries, both on the nose and the palate. But with time, it might develop alluring aromas of dried violets, autumn leaves, forest floor or even truffles, all wrapped in delicate fruit sweetness. Pinot Noir will always be more about flavors and elegance rather than power and strength. Depending on a wine style intended, Pinot Noir can be aged in oak barrels or vinified in stainless steel. Oak will usually add some depth and dimension to the wine, maybe some savory characteristics, but it should never overpower the delicacy of fruit. Vinified in stainless steel, Pinot Noir will show more fruit-forward characters with juicy and refreshing red berries. Not all Pinot Noir wines can age, but the best ones, and dare I say some of the most expensive ones as well, can age gracefully, developing complexity and inviting bouquet. But Pinot Noir is not a cheap grape variety. It is quite fanciful and demanding. So to find a great example, one might need to spend a bit more than usually on the wine. So where to look for Pinot Noir? I would like to say anywhere, as it is really an international grape variety but it prefers cooler climates rather than warm or hot and its principal home is Burgundy. And if you do not mind to spend extra buck, this is where you will get some of the greatest examples of your life, as top Burgundy can cost a lot. But Germany is making increasingly beautiful Pinot Noir wines, as well as Austria, New Zealand, Oregon, California and Tasmania. So, if you have a lightly colored red wine with soft, playful tannins, juicy acidity that smells of pure red fruit, chances are you're very lucky and drinking nice glass of Pinot Noir. Be sure to check my other videos on grape varieties, I will link them below.